All right, so we're uh, gonna do a little trip today going up to uh, somewhere in the basin of Bierstadt. Uh, we're uh, just starting out. There's the uh, camp. We uh, parked right behind that rock pile there. This is uh, Paul, my uh, latest victim. I mean, uh, <laughs> uh, newest explorer. So we're gonna see how this goes and show you what it's like to camp up by Bierstadt. Um, so follow us along. <clears throat> we can see it's kind of a popular trail even in the winter. We already have at least a couple groups that I think are going to be trying to climb Bierstadt today. So we're just heading up the road first, trying to get to the uh, summer parking lot. So if you look at the edge of the road, you can see the guardrail, and that's how high the snow is on the road and going up. That's kind of Bierstadt over there. So we've done a couple switchbacks. You can see a part of Bierstadt and then also to the left, that's the Sawtooth, which there's a uh, hiking trail that runs kind of from Evans to Bierstadt over there, which you can do in the summer. Looking back down the valley. So we've done quite a few switchbacks. We're about a mile into the road. That's uh, Bierstadt and Sawtooth. I have a little decision here. This road switch backs up here, or we can go this direction. So we're up above tree line, or at tree line. to the Arctic Tundra boys. So <laughs> we uh, are kind of just in the main part of the basin of Bierstadt now. Just kind of looking for uh, where we want to go camp for the night. So we'll keep you updated. So we're breaking for lunch. <laughs> we're at uh, 11,500 feet. Give you a little panoramic view. And then another little panoramic view the other direction. Kind of back the direction where the parking lot is. So we built uh, where we're going to camp tonight. We cut into a snow drift uh, over here. And I'll show you the first about 10 to so inches from about here to about here. Here to here is soft snow. And then below that, down here, is like rock solid like almost ice. So it's uh, it was a little more difficult to cut through. But there's here's where we're gonna set up our tent. So 
a nice view. Pure stat and sawtooth. So we'll catch in a little bit. So we got the tent set up. There's our beautiful view. of beer stat and sawtooth. So we're about ready to sit down and just make some more water. I'll just show you the or, uh, how the weather is going. It's really nice. Up there you can see it's uh, cleared off. Pretty nice looking. So I'll try to give you a little 360 view. <laughs> it's cleared off everywhere. And so I'll give you the whole 360. It's so very quiet right now. Yep. So I decided to take a little walk, show you the view. So a little closer look of uh, sawtooth and beer stat. So this is what it looks like as you go up, kind of around the bend, over into uh, this area over here. Very pretty. Just an, another amazing view of all the mountains. So I wanted to do a little gear review. Um, I wanted to talk about the um, outdoor products. This is a little backpack that I take along um, when I go backpacking and carry the big backpack. Um, and then sometimes we'll want to go off on little trips and you don't want to carry the big backpack, but you want to carry a gigantic another big backpack along with your other back, big backpack because then you're just taking more weight. So I found this, this is at Walmart, it's just a nice little tiny bag, you can see the size, has a little zipper pocket on top, and then a zipper at the top to get into. And then all you have to do when you're done with it, see this little circle right here. All you do is set everything kind of all inside and you fold it. 
hold it in to where that little pocket is, the circle is. And you pull. And there you go, you got a little tiny backpack that's lightweight and you can be able to still put a few things in it and go venture out a little bit. So that's uh, my little review of the uh, Outdoor Products um, small backpack. So one of the best things about spring backpacking is uh, the time that you have daylight. Um, at six o'clock, it's still, the sun's still quite a bit up in the sky. It's a beautiful day. Um, we've had great weather. That's, and uh, being at six o'clock, there's nobody, everybody's gone for the day. Everybody's climbed Beerstadt. And uh, so we're probably the only ones out here. This is just the most beautiful place um, that you know you can be. Is just out here, um, pretty much by yourself. It's a, a great place to be. And that's why I do this um, to show you guys you know, what's possible. Um, just a beautiful, beautiful place. So welcome to our kitchen and dining area. We are uh, making dinner. It's about 6.30. Sounds like I can hear coyotes in the background too. Yeah. Hear coyotes. Well, the sun is setting. You can hear the coyotes howling in the background. Well, we're heading out. It was a really nice, quiet night. wasn't much wind. It's a little bit of wind this morning. So, what did you think of the trip, Paul? Oh, it was good. I could do without having to walk through so much snow for the next couple of weeks, but <laughs> I'm good. All right. Well, we'll see you when we get back to the car. <laughs>